Success basically in anything is counterintuitive, whether it's in business, in attraction, in relationships, but also things like with emotions and with spirituality and um, basically every, every facet of life. Uh, you see, the fool, the fool assumes he already knows everything. And he just sort of stumbles his way into some new domain of life. And because he assumes that he knows everything already, and there's really nothing new that would ever surprise him, uh, he always takes the most obvious route, does the most obvious things, and ends up falling into every trap and stumbling onto every landmine. And then, of course, that's why he becomes a failure. And so to really become successful, you have to learn to rethink the most obvious routes that people take in life. Because, of course, most people are not successful. Most people get very mediocre results and they struggle and they hit their head against the wall over and over and over again. And they just don't know. Well, I don't know. Life seems so hard and life seems so troublesome and problematic and full of suffering and full of evil, all these things. And it just see that then they project that out into the external world and they think that life just is that way. No, it only seems that way because you're taking the obvious foolish routes and you're not considering the counterintuitiveness of life. You must really learn to appreciate just how tricky reality is. Reality is a very, very tricky thing. Very, very deceptive. So, the key lesson from this episode is that you always want to be looking for that counterintuitive move that you can make in every important situation in your life, whether it's with business, with your career, with getting hired for a job, with attracting the right person for a relationship, or with your spirituality, or when you're meditating. Always be looking for that counterintuitive move. It's these counterintuitive moves that separate you from the herd. Now, before you give, I give you the whole list of examples, um, let's, uh, let's mention an interesting point here about the word counterintuitive. So, I'm using the word in the sort of colloquial sense, but really it's a misnomer. Because actually, it might seem like, well, Leo, so... So you got something against intuition? So if I'm following my intuition in life, that somehow means I'm going to live a bad life. I'm going to be a fool. And actually, it's quite the opposite. What I want you is to follow your intuition more. Um, so then why does the word counterintuitive use in this, in this case? Well, really what the word counterintuitive really means, it's more like actually counter logical. What it means is that it's the most logical solutions. Usually those end up being the wrong ones. The intuitive solutions actually require you to already take into account that things aren't going to obviously work out in a straight linear path. So really what we mean when we say counterintuitive is we mean counterlogical. We mean it's the opposite of common sense. We mean that it's the opposite of what you would naively expect going into a situation. We mean that it's uh, there's something misleading and something non-obvious about this facet of reality. That needs to be understood in order to achieve success here. We also mean often that it's the emotionally difficult thing to do in many cases. Usually, the counterintuitive thing is emotionally difficult and the, the logical or obvious thing, that's the emotionally easy thing that we're sort of wired to do. And also what counterintuitive usually means is that it requires a sort of a cognitive leap in perspective, stepping outside of your existing perspective in order to, to get a good result.